you guys. Um, I am nervous. I am nervous because I'm going to try and handle this mess of my hair. Let's just get right into it. It's been a couple of months since I have properly detangled my hair. Yesterday was my wash day. While I was washing my hair, I noticed while I was washing, a lot of shedded hair was coming out. And I was like, it's okay. So I clarified my hair, used a shampoo. I also used um, like the whole thing, like a family size. I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating because I also used them for a deep conditioner I posted in my previous video. The Suave's Coconut Conditioner, I used all of that. I used like a cup and a half in my deep conditioner and then the rest on my hair. Went to try and review another product while I was separating my hair. I couldn't even do it. It literally was matted about three inches down from the scalp down. So I'm gonna tell you what I have, what we're gonna do. And we're going to jump right into it while we're doing this video or while I'm filming this. I'm also going to be doing a chit chat if you see my mouth flapping it, you know. So I have warm water in a spray bottle. Y'all, I'm embarrassed, but it is what it is. Aloe vera juice. And then I have a cheap conditioner with Slip VO5, Kiwi Lime Squeeze, no cones in this one. I have a bunch of detangling tools, okay? We're gonna start off with my hands. Um, I have a wide tooth comb. I have a wooden comb. I have a Felicia Leatherwood brush. <laughs> Girl, and I have a pick. We're gonna start in the front, which I really shouldn't do. I really should start in the back, but for this video, we're gonna start in the front so y'all can see it. Um. I don't think the back is too bad. The front is what's, yeah. I have my warm water. I'm not adding any more, I'm not adding any oil. We're not doing that right now. Um, um, your hair is the most weakest when it's wet. So I don't wanna make it super, super damp, but I do want to make sure that the aloe vera get in there. So we're going to start off by finger detangling. And this section is not too bad, actually. What's going on here? Some type of, that was a, some type of lint, lint ball. All right, y'all. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead, girl, and split this up properly to where All right. Going to get this out the way. Yeah, let's just go ahead See, this right here is hard. Something right here is very hard. You see this? I don't even know if y'all can even see this. Right there? Y'all can't even see that because my hair. See, it won't even split up anymore because it's hard right there. It won't even go up. So, let's go in with some conditioner so <laughs> which tools should I use first we're gonna go in with the pick first I'm gonna start at the bottom taking my time that was easy and you guys, it's, I'm gonna be recording a chit chat video while I'm doing this and just to give you guys an update on why I got to this point or how I got to this point, I should say. Again, I'm holding my hair taut and then, then working my way up. Squeezing that product in, all right. 
Yeah, that's what I needed. I need, I need it more. Look at that Felicia Leatherwood. Girl. <sighs> that one section took almost five minutes. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. I think this is the one that had like a hard piece in the front. Can I feel it again? Right there, it won't even separate. I know y'all can't see that. Can y'all see that? This right here is all hard. So y'all. Now since y'all can see my face, I'm gonna explain to you what, ooh, ooh. Y'all, I know y'all can't see that, but all of that is matted. <sighs> um, when it comes to, first of all, due to us, you know, having a lot going on, even without it, a lot being going on, just the COVID, school, um, my life, everything I've been doing lately has been transactional. Does that make sense? Everything has just been a big to-do list. And it's mostly been everything but me. Um, running errands, getting stuff ready for the household, uh, grocery shopping, paying bills, getting JV together. Um, so transaction, okay, this is my to-do list for the week. This is my to-do list for the day. Okay, I didn't get this done. Let's roll over to the next day, roll over to the next week. So when it comes to my hair, baby, um, so let alone washing my hair once a month, you really think I'm gonna have time to detangle my hair? No, no. I got down to, I, I was losing a lot of weight. I know some of you guys have noticed it because I wasn't even eating. I know that's so bad to do. I was skipping breakfast, eating once a day. Um, and not even caring about what I eat. Just eating something. All of that is matted. I'm going to try to finger detangle all of that. And so... I would tell myself, oh, I'll, I'll detangle next week. Next week turned into two weeks, three weeks, month, two months, four months. And for the for a while there, I was still able to style my hair. And y'all know I, I rarely style my hair. I was able to do something every now and then. But baby, yesterday when I tried to separate my hair and add that leave-in conditioner, it just would not budge. y'all i'm done with this that section and i'm gonna go on this this right here took me an hour this right here took me an hour so this right here is gonna take me another hour and then that's gonna probably take me two hours girl what all right you guys so spraying my hair with this olive vera juice mixture if i were to do this over again girl look at this if i were to do this all over again i would definitely add more olive vera but it's going good so far this side is really, really like, I'm having a hard time just separating it. So what you didn't see is that I separated my hair in smaller sections. That is the key, you guys, here. Smaller sections take my time, finger detangle, patience, patience, patience. The one side took one hour. This side actually took me about 45 minutes. The back was relatively not so hard to do. Now, this is going to be a little controversy. I don't know. But look at that knot there. 
I found that my 4C section does not get as tangled as my 4B, 4A. I have all three textures as far as 4 type. The top of my hair and the sides or 4B and 4A. My um, crown is a mixture of 4B, 4A, mostly 4B though. But I do find that the 4C section, it didn't take me any time to get through, like another 45 minutes. So overall, it took me two hours and like 45 minutes to get through my entire head of hair. So this section of my hair was definitely very matted. Like this entire side of my hair at the roots, it was really hard to get through. Um, so one thing I wanted to say, you guys, I want to provide a, a little bit more clarification because I'm saying my hair is matted. However, my hair is more tangled than it is matted. As you can see here, this is a perfect example. My strands are crossing together and then they're starting to lock, but it's almost creating a spider web effect. Now this is due to several reasons, primarily being that I wasn't detangling my hair and I wasn't moisturizing my hair a lot. So my hair is dry, it's locking in that dryness and it's tangling up on itself. Um, so yeah, I will have to say my hair is more locking and tangled as opposed to matting. So I just want to provide clarification on that. Um, so one thing I do want to encourage you guys, if you do find yourself in this situation, bless your heart, number one, number two, please have patience and take your time. This entire process, um, took me about two, uh, two hours and 45 minutes. I also had quite a bit of hair to come out while I was shampooing, washing my hair the day before quite a bit of hair that came out while detangling but not as much honestly because you have to keep in mind that your hair loses a hundred strands a day and if you're not doing something to properly moisturize your hair detangle your hair you're going to lose more okay So I'm hitting that back section. Now I did a lot of my crown with the front. So this back section only took me about 45 minutes. And ironically enough, my 4C section does not get as tangled. Now it does get tangled, but not as bad as the front. Now one thing I do want to say, I jumped into the shower to further detangle my hair and rinse it out. Baby, my hair felt so soft like butter. So yeah, the entire process took almost three hours, but two hours and 45 minutes. All right, you guys, so two and a half hours later, I am done um, detangling my hair. I can unravel one that was really giving me a problem, just so you guys can see that it's truly detangled. Um, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Finally, finally. <laughs> oh, and I'll show you guys the ball. Uh, I have a little hamster in front of me. So look at this twist, y'all. My hair is definitely growing, but girl, it ain't gonna be growing if I don't keep my hair detangled. So this is the amount of hair I have. Oh my God. The amount of hair. A little baby hamster. A rodent basically came out my hair. So don't be like me, y'all. Make sure you make the time to detangle your hair. So that is it very good thing to do uh because at first you know i was gonna i was gonna use apple cider vinegar with water but i'm like no let's go get some olive oil juice which works perfectly well so olive oil juice a great uh cheap conditioner vo5 and some warm water and taking my time and that's it so thank you guys so much for watching take care bye